Uh, I thought it was battle mode for him today. I didn't think he was as sharp as he has been in the last few times out. But I still, like, I went over and talked to him after the fifth inning. Like, it's not his sharpest day, but he still gives us a chance to win a baseball game. Still goes five innings, three run ball, and fights through a couple tough innings. And I think uh, at the end of the day, like, on your bad days, if that's how you pitch, it's pretty solid for a young guy. So I think we're pleased with that. I still think we can sharpen him up a little bit. Next time out can be a little bit better. That seems to be one of his strengths is that he doesn't have to rely on any one pitch to be dominant on a given day. There's And he's able to find ways to get through using the entire repertoire. Yeah, I think today probably like the, the curve was uh, up when it should be down and maybe down when it should be up. It was one of those days when he's trying to finish guys, he was leaving it up in the zone. And when he was trying to throw strikes with it, he was down beneath the zone. So definitely wasn't his uh, sharpest. But yeah, you're right. I, I think the sinker played for him today. And uh, just the overall compete factor was enough to get through and get the win. As far as your bullpen goes, I know we've talked about it a lot, the big arms, but still to, to put together a streak like that of nine consecutive strikeouts, uh, do these guys continue to impress you with what they can do physically and also in terms of their makeup? Yeah, they're good. I, wing for us, uh, I had a big step forward today. I thought a lot of really good slider strikes early, and then you see what the fastball does after they've seen those sliders, and just it's going to blow by most guys. So uh, when you show you can command that secondary pitch at this level, uh, your 98 mile an hour fast, fastballs can play like 105. It's just it's got life to it. If that's all he's pumping, they're going to get to it at some point in time. But uh, I thought it was real good command of the secondary. Jose Castillo just loves big situations. I mean, just anytime it's a close game, you feel like his stuff ticks up even better and I mean he, the at-bat the to at Cano was really special I mean those are fastballs that are alive and Stammen's been that way all year so uh, nine straight strikeouts I, I don't recall seeing that before uh, really impressive from the guys as far as those young arms go is it up to your catchers a little bit to try to get them to use the off-speed pitch you can talk to them as much as you want but in the heat of battle sometimes it, is it up to the catchers to force the issue a little bit? yeah they gotta put the fingers down uh but our guys i like it's it's not just a reliance on off speed like wing's gonna throw his fastball he's gonna throw it a lot uh but that ability to drop in a slider is big for him and for castillo i think the uh canoe at bat was four straight fastballs before the sliders there's no magic formula to every single hitter but i thought for dre it was a big step forward I'm happier to see not just the power game showing up but the way it's showing up on off speed pitches on two strike counts it seems to be coming more and more prevalent with some of the some of your hitters yeah austin hedges at bat was really good i had a lot of fouled off pitches until he got a mistake on a three two count that ran back over the middle and hunter's been squaring up baseballs for a while now so those are like two big swings for us today man probably gets lost in a shuffle wills hustle down the line to first base uh, there's a lot of guys who ground out routinely to third base and as soon as the guy catches it they slack off running down the line he's flying down the line uh causes a little bit of a bad throw gets to first base and then hunter hits the two-run homer right after that and we win by a run so like that kind of stuff matters how fun was that for you to use your pitchers that way it was great. Uh, great. I mean, in an ideal world, when you're getting five, when you get five to seven innings from starters, you can really put those guys in optimal positions to succeed. Sometimes, based on what we've been through with our starting rotation, those guys have just been out there for as long as we need them out there to get out. So uh, today was more about like these guys are right for this part of the order, and Castillo's right for this part of the order, and uh, felt good about just like the way we could piece that six through eight together. Uh, man, it's been so many good things. Uh, for me, it's like when he made the change and got into his legs a little bit better, he was real tall at the beginning of the season. He got down in his legs, and uh, I think it's had his power play a lot more because of that. And I think the compete factor to every at-bat's up. The confidence is you know, big in that. He's definitely very confident in the batter's box right now. Part of it just seeing pitchers more and more and more as yeah, I think that's part of it, but he made a change. Like, uh, you can't diminish the work he put in. He put in a lot of work. It's not just you walk into the batter's box and magically you become a better hitter. Uh, that does help. The experience uh, contributes to that. But for him, I think he put in a ton of work, uh, made a physical adjustment, and you know, it's it's paid dividends for him and for us. What are your thoughts about sweeping them in your place and then coming and sweeping them in their place? Uh, it's nice to win baseball games. Uh, you know, I think... Uh, for us, uh, if you want to be successful, you're going to have to do that for five or six teams in the season. I think that's the only team we've done that to this year. So uh, that'll be big if we start doing things like that.